Welcome to the gap. This is gap. They should have never gave you platform. Y'all know what segment we about to get it to. Ewers. We about to get it to the sad, sad segment. And today, I got to talk about this movie right here. It came out in 2019, 2020, around that time. You feel me? And the movie is called Barbarium on Netflix. And I know, I know some of y'all is like, what the hell does Vavirium mean? I'm going to look it up right now, too, because I've been kind of wondering. And I don't know. It might not mean nothing. It might just be like a cool ass, what you call it? Oh, here we go, right here. Vavirium, place of life. Latin. Vavirium is a place of life. Okay, I'm going to show y'all that. It's basically just... uh. Vivarium, Latin literally for a place of life, plural, Vivaria or Vivariums, is an area usually enclosed for keeping and raising animals or plants for observation or research. And that's how kind of this movie kind of was. You feel me? Let me give you the cast. Actually, no. Let me give you the stats, then the cast, and then I'm going to give you the plot. All right? So, me as a stat teacher, let me hit y'all with these statistics. And, uh... IMDb gave it a 5.9 out of 10, while Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 73%, and the people gave it a 62%. With that being said, I I agree with y'all. So frick y'all. This the concept was really good. So the concept of the movie and kind of like the eeriness of it, and it's like, oh, that was good. The acting, pretty solid. But them not really answering questions, they're not giving you certain answers that you need to conclude the movie in your head. They they really le- left a lot of like uh, uh, potholes in the story itself, and it just kind of made it fell flat. It fell flat to me at the very end, and it was like certain things that were happening. It made me think like. I don't think that would happen in real life. I'll tell you the I'm gonna tell y'all the plot where you'd be like, what? That what? But yeah, it just certain things wasn't answered, which made this movie end up being kind of like, uh you know what I mean? It was it was doo-doo water. Jesus it's, it's, Christ. It's, it was like doo-doo water paint painted in gold. Oh my god. It look all nice, like damn, this look incredible. Then you get close to you, be like, hold on. That don't look like gold rocks. That look like shit rocks. And then you get closer and closer, and you're like, ah, oh, this is a pile of shit. That's basically how Bavarian was. Now, let me hit you with the cast. Now, this dude right here, and me and my lady was talking about it because I watched it with my lady. Jesse Eisenberg, all right? He played Tom in the movie. Jesse Eisenberg looked like Michael Sierra. Cause we kept saying, oh, that's that's bro from uh Super Bad. Or uh uh what's that um one oh yeah, Super Bad. I think it's Super Bad. Yeah. Is it Super Bad? I don't know. Michael Sierra looked like Jesse Eisenberg, okay? They look one in the same. They were confusing the hell out of us. <laughs> All right. A uh, Mogan Poots. She played uh Gemma. You feel me? Gemma and Tom, they go together. Then this other character, uh Jonathan Ayres played Martin. He was like the main um he was kind of the one selling him the home, but he was like initially like a, a alien or a creature. I don't know. They didn't really explain it. You feel me? Then you had Sanan Jennings. He was boy number one. And then you had uh, Iana Hardwick. He was the boy number two. I don't know why they saying the boy number two. Because that was a grown ass man. Okay. So. That being said. Let me hit y'all with the plot. The plot of this movie is basically. This couple goes in. They're trying to buy a home. Trying to get a home. They go into this weird ass like. Mortgage realtor spot. And it had the same homes on top of the blocks. Right? And that was weird. See, if if it was me and my lady, you know, a black couple, we would have went in and been like, 
Nah, we we out of here. We would have left quickly. Movie wouldn't have never started. Okay. Like, is this is this white ignorance? <laughs> oh my god. Damn. Oh. Well yeah, they come into the spot, bruh. And they see that, and then they see the realtor, and bruh, bruh, all dressed up and all, you know what I mean? Uh, plain Jane, he looked like, um, uh, how can I say this? Um, to me, it looked like a mortician without the suit jacket. You know, the mortician had the plain white button up with the plain skinny black tie. With the, he looked like that. And the slick thing, and then they talked to him, and he was like, they were kind of, Tom and Gemma at first was like, they were like, I don't know, this seemed kind of weird. The same spots. I don't know if we can afford it. Da da da. And bro was like, now let me take you over to the spot. So they're they're driving behind them and they're kind of talking like, bro, this ain't right, bro. I don't know. Then you hit the sign and it says something yonder where you could live here forever. Then they start rolling into the complex and all the houses look the same. I would have hit a UE. Never hit a turn. Just hit a U U turn. I'm out of here. They start turning, doing all these twists and turns and stuff. And they reached the apartment. Every apartment had nine. And they reached their apartment. And there's no cars around. There's nothing around. There's no breeze. There's nothing. It's like Sim City 2.0. All right. They get out the car. He's showing them the spot. And then he, the thing that was weird and that, that would have been made me like, oh no, nigga, we out of here. We uh get your get back in the car, we following you. He mocked Gemma to a T. And they looked at each other like, What? So that happened, right? So they look at that the spot. The spot is nice though, it ain't gonna lie, but the everything is weird about it. It's like is is super tidy, super clean in the pictures. It's like a picture of the house. Then it has a picture of the room in the bedroom. It's like, what kind of weird Al Yankovic hotel is this? <laughs> oh my God, bro. Oh my. <laughs> I would have left quickly. I'm like, bro, these paintings are terrible. I'm out of here. But yeah, they stayed. Then like, he, uh, they went to the room, they started talking, and bruh bamped out on him. He left them. Then they started driving, they're trying to drive around, and of course they start arguing. They've been kind of arguing the whole movie. They really don't like each other. They kind of just, I don't know why they're together. Um, Because they don't got a kid or nothing. They kind of, that, that was the real mystery. Why are they a couple? Clearly they hate each other. Maybe it was the shabanga bang, cause they seem to like that a lot. Anyway, they uh uh start driving around. Couldn't she was driving at first, and then I guess I guess uh, this would be I guess misogynistic. He basically would say, "You don't know where you're going. I'ma drive. Let me drive." And then he started driving, and they going around. They starting to lose their mind, and they land right in the number nine spot again. So they went in the apartment. They uh they chilled in there. Then they got a box, a box of food that look all processed. They start living there. They's trying to figure ways to get out. They burn the goddamn house. The house comes back in the morning. They try to hop the fences. They keep hopping the fences, going in the same backyard. You feel me? And then what happens is a kid is dropped off. And they, they basically was told, raise the kid, we'll release you. What they do, become the worst parents ever, bruh. God damn, they ain't raising this kid right. And the thing about the kid is, like, he growing hella fast. At 90 days, bruh, is already, like, 10. So in my head, I'm like, if they would have just properly raised the kid like the thing said, they probably would have been out in, like, six months. But instead, what happened? Bruh, Tom, he, like, smoked a cigarette. Threw it on the little turf, turf grass. It it was like a glitch in the system. But was it though? Because he started digging. And it seemed like he was digging his own grave. While the, while the, um, while Emma, 
uh, I say Emma, Gemma, she started losing her mind. And then the boy is like, he trying to learn, but he, the, the boy weird. It's, it's a creature. It's an alien. It's something. I don't know. And every time the the uh, the boy wants something, he starts screaming. Ah! I'm like, man, I knew that. See? Can't be raised by black people. Well, that discipline would have been quickly in there. Every time that boy would have. Oh, ah! oh, I can't hear him. Right in the chat. Bow! Hey. Stop that screaming. Or do it back to him. The boy will start looking at you. You like, ah! The boy like, ah! Boy start looking at you like, wait a minute. That's quite annoying. I don't like that. <laughs> but yeah, so they had this TV too, and you thought they would have program, but it wasn't. It was just like this weird kind of symbol thing or whatever, black and white, and the boy will watch that. And so then... Jim and motherly instincts start kicking in, start taking care of the boy, teaching him stuff or whatever. And then the boy hands her a book. And the book has a symbol thing and stuff. And this where I'm like, bro, this don't make no damn sense. I mean, all, all the other stuff didn't make sense, but this really didn't make no sense. Jimma got the book, never gave it to Tom, never asked the boy, what does this mean? What does this mean? I see it in the book. Like, what is this? What is this symbolism? What is this? Never asked anything. Nothing. Then the boy turns into uh Ian Hardwick and got older. And he weird. It, it, it got to a point where he was like, you know, Jim was like, man, Tom, I should have let you kill, kill, bruh. You feel me? And then Tom is digging a grave. He hits something. And it's another body. So somebody already did this before. Dug himself a grave. You feel me? And the thing about it, if they just would have worked together, raised the kid, hell, boy number two probably wouldn't have kicked him out. Would have been like, y'all, you know what, y'all some loving family. I'm about to help y'all. He kicked them out and started going to wherever he was going. Made it seem like he was going to work, but I don't know. You feel me? But then what happened was uh, Tom was basically on his deathbed and stuff like that. Uh, and this is, I feel like this is less than a year. You feel me? Gemma, she was, she, uh, cause Tom ended up dying. You feel me? Threw him in his own grave that he built for himself. And then Gemma ended up striking the boy and shit. Number two. And it hurt him. And he got to his natural habitat. He's like, <sighs> and then started crawling and pulled up the concrete and crawled. And Gemma went under it. And then she started getting all confused. Oh my God. Oh, I'm like, bro, go to the door, bro. Went in. We want some damn answers. What is this thing? Why is this doing this? Why did it pick y'all? What the hell is going on? Is this an infinite loop? And then you start seeing, she starts seeing like other people. And my lady came up with this concept basically saying, what's happening is each person is in their own home and they're in their own like tormented loop and you can't see them. But somehow when Emma did that, uh, she got into the place where you could start seeing it. You start seeing other people with the, the boy and then also the boy number two. And you start seeing like, oh, snaps. Like other people is trapped in here like this. And then she ended up becoming trapped. And then it killed her, murdered her, threw her in the damn grave. And he, the, 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 the boy to buried it, boom. And then he went to the same spot that the other creature thing was looked exactly like bro bro ended up dying in the chair he just folded him up put him in a foul cabinet and then another couple came in and boom the cycle all happens again that's it i know y'all i know i know y'all over there like what you mean that's it what was the thing was it an alien was it a creature why was this happening why was there another body down there? He digged up. The, what, what was going on about that? How the cigarette fire made the glitch. But they burned down the home and the home came back. Too many questions. Not enough answers. That should have been the name of this movie. Too many questions. Not enough answers. Yeah, man. I was highly disappointed. Great concept. Great eeriness. Acting was cool. But this just fell flat. 
didn't give us enough answers. It was straight bull malarkey at the very end. And yeah, that's end of the movie. Uh, Vibarium on on Netflix. Um, I guess I'm in a state of disillusion. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> anyway, 